Now, cancer is a life-threatening disease and following up on the World Cancer Day held on the 4th of this month, Times now continues to celebrate the spirit of survival through some inspiring stories. It's like you're left in the ocean. You have two options. One is either you learn to swim and you come out or you give up and get drowned. Somewhere in the year 2008, I, I, was, I was working a uh, you know, normal office job and I started losing weight. You know? So over a period of uh, six months, I lost quite a few kilos. Along with losing weight, I had consistent cough for a long period of time. So I would go to the normal physician doctor, you know, they would give, us, give me some uh, medicine for my cough. It would go and then it would come back. Um, until one day I went to an ENT specialist and he sort of, as he was checking me, he found a lump below my neck. Um, he asked me to do a test which is called the FNAC test and when I got the report of the FNAC test, it you know, sort of uh, came as a surprise to me that I had Hodgkin's lymphoma. It was the most shattering day for me in my life. Um, it, it was really, really very difficult. I was just about one year into my marriage and I come to know that I had Hodgkin's lymphoma. So there I was taking my first chemotherapy in uh, Just Look Hospital uh, on, the f on my first wedding anniversary. So it was an extremely shattering, you know, for my family, for my wife, all of them. It was really, really difficult for them, as well as for me to accept the fact that I had stage four uh, cancer. So six months of treatment, I, I, I got away, I got into remission, all my reports came clear. As I was working, uh, I noticed over a period of from 2008 to 2012, I started putting on a lot of weight. I couldn't bend down really to even tie my shoelaces. So I took a very conscious decision. I got on a very, very strict diet, started running, and eventually over a period of a uh, couple of months, I lost about 20 kgs. So, and, and, and that's how my running, you know, my passion for running started. Running for me is living, you know, uh, I just enjoy running and uh, there, is, there is a different uh, runner's high that we as runners get when we run. And I've also taken it to myself to run in, you know, all the seven continents in the world and spread the message that there is life after cancer. So that's really what I'm, I'm aiming for. For the people who have cancer, the one message that I can give them is just don't give up.